Hi, it's Gabe Alcala here from Advanced Test Equipment Rentals, and I have the Enerizu's S332E right here, which we're going to go over a few of its key functions and a few of its basic tests. What makes this S332E so special is it's a 2 MHz to 4 GHz cable and antenna analyzer, as well as a 9 kHz to 4 GHz spectrum analyzer, all in one portable, rugged, battery-powered unit. Before we actually begin any testing, I want to mention a few key accessories that you're going to need during your testing. The first is Anaritsu's phase stable cable, which comes there on the accessory kit. So it looks like we have a, a type N male to female cable right here. And Anaritsu's open short load calibration tee, which you're going to need to self calibrate and zero the instrument. Next, we're going to go over a few of the key test ports on the Sightmaster. The first one is the RF output, which is located right here, and that's used for the cable and antenna analyzer functions. The next is the RF input, which is used for the spectrum analyzer mode. And then we have the USB ports, which is used to download your measurements onto the software. And last but not least, we have the GPS port, where you could attach a GPS antenna so you could have your GPS location on your measurement reports. The first test that we're going to do is a VSWR measurement on a simulated antenna. But before we can actually perform this test, the Sightmaster is prompting you that this instrument is not calibrated. So we're actually going to perform a quick self-cal right now. And to do that, you're going to press the shift followed by the calibrate button to take it to the calibration mode. And then you're going to press start cal. As the unit prepares for the calibration, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is connect the test port cable onto the RF output port, which I showed you guys earlier. Now that the test port cable is securely fastened onto the RF output, we're going to connect an open onto the end of this cable. So using that open short load that I showed you guys earlier, I'm going to find the open, which is right here. I'm going to connect it to the end of the test port cable. Then I'm going to press enter to continue. Now that that's completed, the next step is we're going to connect the short to the RF output. So I'm going to disconnect the open. Which is on their side of the open short load CALTI. Then I'm going to press enter to continue once again. And last but not least, the site master is going to tell you to connect the load. Now that the calibration is complete, we're going to jump into some measurements. So I'm going to actually press the measurement button down here, and we're going to go to VSWR mode, which we're already on. And uh, I actually want to mention one neat feature about the Sightmaster is you could actually have two displays at once. So if you press the display format, it would have two displays. So we're only going to be needing one. Now that we're in VSWR mode, I'm going to connect a simulated antenna, which I'm going to use an RF uh, dummy load. So I'm going to disconnect the, the load from the test port cable and connect it right here on the load's input. And if you bring it up close, you can actually see the VSWR measurements on the bottom. To save this measurement, you're going to want to press Shift, then File to enter the Save menu and then press save measurement. I'm going to name this test test number three. And press enter. So I just saved the actual measurement onto the internal memory. And uh, if you guys want to recall a measurement, you press the recall measurement button. Find the measurement. 
and press enter. So now that I completed a test on the cable and antenna analyzer mode, we're going to perform the spectrum analyzer test. And it looks like we already have the test port cable connected over here to the RF in port. The next thing we're going to want to do is switch to the spectrum analyzer mode. And to do that, you're going to want to press shift, the mode button, move the wheel to spectrum analyzer mode, and press enter. And as you can see here, the antenna is picking up a signal at around 1.2 gigahertz and at about a minus 30 dBm power level. The last thing that I want to show you guys before we finish this video is actually how to switch the frequency on the spectrum analyzer mode. So it looks like currently we're at 1.2 gigs and the signal has just moved to 1.5 gigs. So we're going to press the center frequency, type in 1.5, then the gigahertz units, and looks like we have found the signal again at 1.5 gigs. And if you want to change the markers, there's a marker function down here where you could set different markers if you'd like to. So right here I just set a separate marker that I could move around using the mouse wheel if you want to measure the noise or, or the peak.